What is your most embarrassing single life story you have in China? Single I'll give you, life. I'll give you a little time to, to to think about it. Single life story embarrassments. So like while you were single, maybe you did something with a girl. Maybe you're trying to maybe you're trying to like you know you were macking, you were you're showing your game. You were uh, you know, and something happened. So I'm trying to get with a girl. Yeah, I love how this is like one of his first times actually on camera. Cause usually he films his daughter, and I'm like, <laughs> so tell me your fucking darkest <laughs> secret. <laughs> like, what's the worst thing you could you say? You actually, about like, I almost started talking. I realized I have to not say what I was going to say. <laughs> There's no fucking way. Can you, can you make it less sound less? No, no. Like, <laughs> I, have to, I have to be very careful about this. Um, I'm just trying to play off the cuff here. I'm trying to think. Yeah, All of this is on video, so you just you, everyone's gonna be like, "Ooh, Simok, what's what's your secrets, bro?" I have one. Okay, you go ahead. Um, before I met my wife, I obviously dated a lot of Chinese girls, mm -hmm. and there was a girl. She was a, a very sweet girl. Uh, we went out one time and had dinner. It was very nice. And the next day, she wanted to come over, and uh, she ended up showing up with like a suitcase, uh, care for bags, uh, decorated my whole apartment, put toothbrushes in my bathroom, had everything set up, got towels matching his and her towels. And it was really awkward, you know? I was like, wait a second, what's going on here? Did she just move herself in? She basically just moved herself in that afternoon, after the first date. And I, had, wow. I was kind of like, you know, okay, back it up, back it up. Like, this is not happening, you know? what is going on and, and you're you're conflicted because when you're single this is like you know you really do want to like maybe not everybody but I was genuinely looking for a companion that I could have kids with and be with you know right. for a, and looking for a real relationship a real relationship right this wasn't it I mean it could have been I didn't know but it didn't work out because of that you know because it was too much too fast I was like no 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 this is not this is not how it's going to go down wow and I felt bad having to say that you know because obviously she seemed like she cared and she seemed like she really you know she cleaned my apartment she everything right so I really felt bad like having to say like this this isn't you know this isn't going to work uh, I, I, I noticed a good one. I don't know if you can one up that you made me sweat just thinking about that because you reminded me I of was sweating just right? saying yeah and you guys have been sipping beer. I gotta get a drink before I tell my story. I'll be right back. All right. So I decided to actually, this is a little bit of a gimmick here, because if I told you what a ripper was, you would ask me what's a ripper, and we know the old rules of Loudy 6. For anyone old here. Old rules. Very old rules of Loudy 6, whenever we had a guest on the channel. And this is not Loudy 6, but this is gonna carry over to your channel now. All right. I got a ripper, and I got one for you. Unfortunately, I can't drink a ripper because I'm having an issue these days, and I can't have any sugar. So I got the cheapest and worst Baijiu that I could to companion, to be your companions, right? And I also- By the way, people are gonna think you have fucking diabetes. That's not the case. It's just on like some weird ass diet. And also sugar does make me feel a little bit bad. I feel kind of sick. Yeah, I just don't want anyone to come to the conclusion that he's had some serious health risks. That totally sounded it's, like that. Maybe I am. I've got sugar cancer. I was so. gonna come out today. Oh wait, you have to figure out how to open it. Yeah, we can't tell you. Can you see this that? is old, this is like, Old, 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 like three, four years ago, I would have said. You got, you got it. it. I just popped the top. Congratulations, buddy. Cheers, here, here, and you guys. It's been a long time. Here, here, and you. Ripper clock. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've had that. <laughs> Holy. That's oh. disgusting. We are bringing it back, fellas. For all of you, uh, for all of you that missed our old, uh, for all of you guys that missed the uh, old style out A6 videos, this is pretty much what it was. So in true tradition, we have to ask Primo, what do you think that is made out of? I'm just wondering what this is. That's, I, uh, if you had to guess, rubbing alcohol. If I had to guess, you probably could clean your floors with it. To be fair. Let's say. I have absolutely no idea. Oatmeal. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, Let's just alcohol. believe that. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. It is alcohol. Mm -hmm. Steeped with. <laughs> steeped with. Ants. <laughs> deer antlers. Turtle shell. Deer penis. And many, many other things. There's many herbs and very rare There's a few roots. other penises in there, I think, There's as a, well. I, and some of them have dog penis in it. I don't think this one does. I, I can actually so. check real quick. Not yet. No, this is the one that only has deer penis. Ginseng, cinnamon. What's gonna happen to me now? 
It's supposed to make it real hard, real rowdy. But it's just yeah. us three. <laughs> That's where this. I gotta gets cut this gross. out. The That's where this gets really gross. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I feel rare to go. I'm gonna tell my story real quick. So very similar to yours, I went to Shenzhen for the first time in my life from Huizhou, and I'm like, you know what? Get on this bus. I'm gonna be a a little a little traveler. I'm gonna get out there. I don't even speak Chinese. I'm just gonna wander the city, you know. And immediately when I get there, I realize that my SIM card doesn't work there, so I can't contact anyone that might be hanging out there because I had a couple contacts that might want to hang out. Right. Couldn't talk to anyone. Couldn't. No one spoke English. I was absolutely screwed. And I was actually like, had the second guess. I was like, a couple days into China, I'm like, why did I actually come here? This is a shitty idea. Like, this is awful. I can't even do anything. I can't even order on, at a restaurant. You know what I mean? So I'm wandering around, and I keep asking people if I can use their phone because I want to call my one friend to pick me up. And no one will let me do it. I'm like, Chinese people are assholes, dude. Like, no one's letting me use their phone. I don't realize that people, like, you know, they probably got scammed to get their phone stolen. It's not how it works here. I have no idea. So these two girls, run, I run into them. This is going to sound so bad. But these girls were, were rough. They were rough. I mean, this one girl, her teeth were, like, perpendicular. Like, her two front teeth. She found out that I was in Hoi She calls me. For the next couple weeks and I, I picked up once and she just starts singing me a song like the worst song you've ever heard in your life and I'm like listen that's sweet but I'm not gonna be your boyfriend she's like why she just keeps like yow buying like expressing herself to me and I'm like sorry and I stop I ignore her calls a couple weeks later my Swedish roommate knocks on my door and he goes I didn't let this girl in but she's downstairs with a duffel bag, and she's looking for you. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Go downstairs, it's Daisy, the girl that I've been talking about the whole time, fuck tooth wonder. She is downstairs with a red duffel bag. She went to Huizhou on a bus, right? A local bus, like 30 Kwai, right? And then she got in a taxi and said, where do the foreigners live? And at that time, there's only like two English schools here. She went to both of them. She went to the wrong one first, and then went to the, the right one. He goes, they, most of them live in uh, Manhattan Square, we'll call it, right? So he drops her off there, and she waits a couple hours until a foreigner walks in the building and says, please go get Simo, right? I go down there, my heart drops. I'm like, holy shit. But I was too nice, and I, I invited her upstairs, and I said, you can stay on the couch tonight. She goes, I left everything behind. I didn't even have a job in Shenzhen, oh, and I already man. talked to my mother on the farm, and she said it's okay. And I was like, holy shit. I literally left her on the couch and I went and got drunk with my friends and came back and she was in my room, in my bed. And I was like, I gotta get on it. <laughs> she jumps on me, throws her arms around me. She's trying to like lick my lips and stuff. She doesn't have a kiss. She's like, just, she's gone all in. That's she's bad. gone all in, Daisy. I literally had to leave her there. And I told my friend, if you want to leave and stay in a hotel with me tonight, until she leaves, I will pay for your room. And he stuck it out. Like, he, like, coaxed her down. I was the dick. Like, he coaxed her. He talked her down. Got her back on the bus, and she left. I couldn't deal with it. I was too scared. I was like, this is going to get ugly. She's going to stab me or something, you know? You will be approached by women here as a single foreigner. It does happen. I don't think it's right to, like, take advantage of them or anything, unless you have some ridiculous story like these two did. I, I don't we think that's... take advantage. I think it's, it's no, no coincidence that I it happened unless you have a ridiculous story. Right, right, it's no coincidence. No, for sure. You think it's a common thing? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I've, I've met some clingy girls, but I wouldn't say they were, like, You've also level. You've also dated girls that are much younger than anyone that we would date, right? So we're talking girls that are in their 30s now, 30s or 40s, right? You're dating girls that are, like, 12, 13. <laughs> I'm joking. You're dating girls that are in their early 20s. Yeah, we were like you know. a decade apart, yeah. Right. So, uh, I think yeah. that's a difference, probably. It's probably a lot better nowadays. I think so. As usual, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I didn't film an outro or an intro in this video because it was sort of a continuation of the other video that we filmed with Primo, uh, which is another thing I have to say thank you for is Primo for coming down to Weijo with his daughter and filming with us. It's always super, super fun. Can't wait to uh, do that again. I also wanted to thank my patrons, and if you are one of my patrons that you're able to see this video early, uh, it's becoming a lot more difficult to make money on YouTube now with this whole AdSense fiasco thing going on. But uh, you know, so now more and more creators are turning towards Patreon to make money and, and supporting us. So, also like, does this lighting look weird? Because like, check out the sky right now. Thank you guys so much. The other reason I'm doing this is because I have to hit that 10 minute point. So stay positive, keep your stick on the ice, and I'll catch you on the next episode.
It's been 10 minutes yet.